Good morning, we're here at Disney's Animal Kingdom at Tusker House. Today is the return of the buffet. Characters have been back. It's been family style for quite a while since the restaurant reopened, but today the buffet returns, and of course, as usual, I'm in for a double header. So we're here, it's 8.15 in the morning. I have my coffee because yesterday was Halloween and we did Horror Nights till 2 a.m., which was, in hindsight, maybe a mistake. So if you think I'm usually low energy, just wait till you see this morning. Um, but excited to see the buffet back. Let's let's see how things are. Look, we got fancy new plastic mugs and plastic plates. Very fancy. Okay, so the bread basket has arrived. It's one of the, it's one of those little like organizing trays, right? That slides into something. It looks like uh, she said we have zebra bread, multigrain croissant, blueberry muffin. Um, I don't remember what that is. What did she say that was? It's some sort of dense, desserty cake. I don't know if she said it, but it looks good. Okay, we're starting with bread. I've got the zebra bread. Jake, yours is way more colorful, though. You got like the, the Lion King sunrise. Unless, I mean, it, maybe it's an artistic interpretation. Maybe it's just those colors and I'm insane. We'll, we'll find out. Let's have some zebra bread. It's bread. I guess I should try. They did give us butter and honey. A little honey, perhaps. Yeah, it goes a long way. The muffin and the croissant are going to be your typical Disney buffet fare, which there's nothing wrong with. I've always liked their pastries. The only pastry I've never been crazy about at any Disney World breakfast is the, the bagels. That's the only thing I don't get. But everything else is generally pretty good. The other thing that's kind of unique to here is a, there's a coffee cake. So. It's good. I thought it was going to be dry. It's not that dry at all. It's pretty moist. This is great. Hopefully the rest of the buffet is as good as the bread. Let's find out. what I like to have in the morning. I like to start my morning with salad and waffles. It's a classic, a classic combination. So in order to remember what we're doing, I generally go in the order things are on in the buffet. Um, we're not doing the bread. It's the standard stuff, the bagels and all that. There is more of the coffee cake up there if you want some, which is nice. Um, but I try to go in order. So the salad, after the, after the bread, there's a salad station. And then after the salad station is the kids station. So this is a combination of kid station and salad station. Um, the salads are definitely thematic and different and interesting. There's a uh, carrot and chickpea salad. It's under the bacon, hold on. There's carrot and chickpea on that end, uh, which is followed by the watermelon feta salad. And then a uh, black eyed pea salad, which I hope is better than the band of the same name. <laughs> I'm going to start with the black eyed pea salad. These are all, um, they're salads, they're cold. Um, nice, there's cucumber in there, tomato, obviously black eyed peas. What do you expect from these? Any like Animal Kingdom Park or Lodge salad? Um, there's this dryness, right? But it's offset usually by the freshness of the vegetables that are mixed in. That's pretty good. Let's try the watermelon, watermelon and feta. I will say like, sometimes it's a lot to eat a Disney buffet in the morning and you're maybe you're just here for character. So I think it's nice that there's lighter, maybe healthier things. Cause God, if I was here in the middle of July, maybe I don't want to just eat a pile of sausage and bacon and then go out, especially in Animal Kingdom. 
All right, let's try the chickpea and carrot. That one's maybe a little too dry for me. I'm also not a big chickpea guy. Those are good. I mean, it's wildly different. Get it wildly? Wildly different from other Disney buffets. Now let's have the stuff that's not so wildly different. Your basics. Bacon. That's bacon. Now, if you're watching another vlog, this is usually where someone will lie to you and tell you that Mickey waffles are delicious when I've never actually had a good one at Disney World. And in, in, I realized the small ones are just not good. Anywhere I've ever had the full size, right? And I've had a full size one at Disney World. Sleepy Hollow, fantastic. Um, obviously Tokyo and Paris, all their places where you get the full size, they're great. But these are, these are either o overdone usually or underdone. They're never quite in the middle, right? Meet my word, it's actually not a bad one. It's not like great, but it's actually cooked adequately. Nice crispy exterior, not too doughy on the inside, not underdone. Yeah. They also have Simba and Nala waffles, which will be somewhat similar. I think they also have those at, um, obviously at the lodge, but I think Art of Animation, Unless Art of Animation just does the mermaid ones now, I forget. Mermaid and Cars. Used to be all three of them because the buildings are all... Um, all four of them because the buildings are... Yeah, of course kids are screaming. We're at a Disney World buffet. Um, used to be the waffles representing the four sections of Art of Animation. Have a, let's have a dry pancake. They're gonna be... I will say, usually, like, this, this standard stuff is... It sits there, it's usually, and we've been here, they've been open for a hot minute at this point. Like we've, we're, we're an hour, we're like an hour and a half, two hours after open. And things are still pretty fresh. All right, sausage patty. Cold, but it's fine. What you would expect from your local McDonald's or Burger King. And Potato barrels, tater tots. Jake, what do you call them? Tater tots. Tater tots? Yeah, same. I never heard potato barrels till I went to Disney Park. Uh, they're soggy, but I'm not sure if that's like my salad got to them. Everything's good enough. Nothing's been bad. Um, but then we also have... This is interesting. I see you got this also. What, is, what do they call this? It's just overnight oats? Let's, let me check my photos. Overnight oats with berry compote and house-made granola. That sounds great. Very good, very sweet. I mean, the berry compote makes it super sweet. I would eat, if I didn't have to review everything up there, I'd probably just come here and eat like three or four bowls of this and some salad and try not to die. But we have more buffet to try. And then as I've heard uh, with overnight oats at Disney World, they may start charging them for parking. So I don't know, we don't want to move on. Hi, Mickey. How are you? Oh, thank you, Mickey. <laughs> Thanks, Mickey. Hi, Goofy. Oh, we're good. Thank you. Hi, Goofy. How are you? I'm great. It's good to be here. 
This doesn't really look like a plate of breakfast food, but it's also kind of what I like about Tusker. I know, I know the regular Disney World going audience isn't going to go crazy for a lot of this. I understand that. I know that's why a lot of people don't like Tusker House to begin with. Um, we have the Cape Malay uh, chicken. It's a, what is it, curry chicken, I believe. Um, there's breakfast potatoes, rice. There's a malva pudding kind of muffin ball with icing on it. And then shakshuka. Let's try this out. There's a carrot still on my floor. Right. Uh, what do we start? Well, let's start with the hot stuff. It's a big piece of chicken. Very mild spice. Chicken's tender, it's not dry. That's fine. If it was a fast food restaurant, that'd be fine for chicken curry. The flavors aren't outrageous. It's very mild. Not a whole lot going on otherwise. Get some rice with that. Rice is pretty good. Very buttery. Real buttery rice. Good, it's cooked. cooked properly. It's always good. I got some rice on my breakfast potato. Those are nice. They're they're not not over salted. They're cooked right. I don't know what else you say about breakfast potatoes. They're they're adequate. All right, shakshuka. I had to break the egg. Not the runniest yolk I've ever had. For those that don't know, it's basically like a tomato sauce, bread, and and an egg. If you've never had it, I'm being growing up in New York. Breakfast is more like about pastries. I'm a big pastry guy in the morning. This is not what I want this early like later if this is on the lunch buffet later like I'm on board but I don't know this is very heavy and I don't know flavor profile wise not my thing same with the chicken I'm not I don't know I'd rather just have like croissants and pancakes waffles french toast like that kind of stuff I don't even I gotta be in a mood to have scrambled eggs in the morning honestly all right let's try there is a malva pudding which is gonna be more my thing in that case, this little Malva pudding ball, muffin, kind of a muffin. Then a little bit of icing goes a long way, very sweet. Um, obviously there's raisins in it. It's like a raisin, like a raisin muffin essentially. It's like if bread pudding and, and a raisin muffin had a baby. That's pretty good. Hi, Donald. Thank you, Donald. Thank you. Hi, Daisy. Hi. Thank you, Daisy. ready to implode but there's another plate of food there's everything that's left uh, we have tandoori I already forgot it tandoori spice roasted tomato vegetable frittata scrambled eggs look at this look at this tiny little cute omelet who's a cute omelet 
uh, there's a ham. So there's a carving station, but he's throwing it into um, a tray. So the, the guy's there carving. I guess you could ask him for a fresh piece if you wanted. But, um, the thing I'm most worried about is the the impossible baboni, um, <laughs> which uh, it looked like no one had taken any yet the whole breakfast. And I think like one of the chefs kind of just watched as I scooped it and was like, I don't think anyone's had that yet. Uh, Andouille sausage, scrambled eggs, yeah, a lot of standards. Um, collard greens. All right. Let's start with the collard greens. I don't dislike collard greens for the record. There is something weird about the seasoning on those. Like a slimy consistency. I, I assume it's just it's just a lot of oil, maybe, and whatever is in the oil is not working with it. That's the only thing I've had this morning that under no circumstances would I ever try again. That's that's vile. All right, tomato. It's a lightly spiced tomato. There's not a whole lot going on. It's warm. And the tomato itself was, it looked real dry under the, you can kind of see the top looks, it looks a little dry. It actually wasn't, it was the opposite. It doesn't, the look is deceiving. There's just not a whole lot going on seasoning wise. It's not, I don't know. This is over season, the collard greens. The tomato is way under season. All right, vegetable frittata. Looks like spinach, I'm guessing. I don't know what else is going on there. Maybe onion. Definitely spinach. Yeah. I mean, eggs and spinach. Oh wait, there's something. Is that just tomato or a tomato? Potato? Oh, there was a giant chunk of potato like that. Like that big in the middle of that. Not complaining, but that's you want to maybe dice that a little more. It's good. All right, Disney scrambled eggs. You can't can't go to a character buffet and not have Disney scrambled eggs. Mmm. As liquidy as ever. I forget. I was very young. We went to Chef Mickey's, and I looked at the server with a straight face. And so this is when my parents knew I was going to be a pain in the. I looked at the server with a straight face and go, "Can I have a cup?" And she's like, "What for?" It's like my eggs. You don't have to laugh at home. I don't need the pity. It's fine. Let's eat this cute little omelet. Look at this cute little omelet. Almost too cute to eat. Jake, what year did this park open? Sorry? What year did this park open? I think that's been here since then. It's very dry. It's the opposite of the scrambled eggs. The wettest and the driest eggs I've ever had, back to back. All right, impossible baboni. I bet it's good. All this impossible stuff is always great, and everyone stays away from it. But I'm like, it's better than half the regular food. I don't think that's going to be everyone's cup of tea. It's, it's real earthy, right? Getting like a lot of flavor like raisin kind of like raisin blended with like impossible sausage those are like the two most dominant flavors i'm getting um but i think if you have certain dietary needs i think it's pretty solid they actually have a lot up here if you're vegan um if you're practicing vegan there's a lot of options here this might be one of your better options at disney world honestly all right now for the ham Ham it up. It's on the sweet side. Nice thick piece, not dry. Um, it's good. It's good, I guess. Um, so with that, that's everything up here. What, what's interesting, what's noticeably kind of missing is like sweets, right? Um, so we, they brought us the bread basket, right? And even in there, there's the coffee cake, which kind of suffices as the dessert, right? Um, but a lot of breakfast buffets, they have a lot of, there's a lot more sweet 
stuff, right? So we think about when we did Cape May recently, it's another video you can watch here on the channel. Um, there was that, that sweet bread, but then there was sweet stuff up on the buffet too. The coffee cake, or what looks like a slightly different version of it, is up there. And then there's the, the Malva cake, which we had. That's it. So, I know it's a character buffet. I don't, I don't know if this is the best one to go to with kids. I think, I don't know if I want to recommend this one. Like, the character interactions are great. I like the four characters we met. Um, for the kids, there's a standard stuff. I mean, the kids will eat, right? There's Mickey waffles, there's scrambled eggs, there's bacon, there's sausage. Um, there's enough stuff for everyone, but I could see... I could see if you have some particularly picky eaters with you, they complain, like, oh, we paid all this money and all I ate was bacon and eggs. Um, and now, if you like something different, I I like the fact that there's different stuff up here. That being said, not, very little of it was like, oh, wow, that's amazing. I would come back here in a heartbeat for that. The overnight oats were, I think, some of the stuff in the bread basket and then the overnight oats were the best things we had. Nothing else was outrageous, so... I don't know, if, if your choice is between this and the other character buffets on property, I might lean towards the other ones. But again, it's the only one in Animal Kingdom, so if you need one every day and you really want to do one here, um, I guess it makes sense. But it's not It's not, It's not. not going to be my top recommendation. It's probably my... Probably, I mean, it's still better than it was Family Style. Like Family Style was terrible here. We didn't like it at all. I think it's a better value and I think it's a better experience as a buffet. But again, yeah, Tusk Rats, it, it, it exists. It's not, I don't know, it's, it's, I don't even know what to say. It's just, it's, it gets lost in the shuffle. I don't think the spread is as good as ever else. It is diverse, it is thematic, but I don't think a lot of it works. So we'll see how lunch, lunch slash dinner goes. Seven hours have passed, which means it's time to come back to the buffet again. Now for lunch slash dinner, so we're back at Tusker. I got a nap, I shaved. I look like a human god oh, under that part. Anyway, uh, Eric's here now with a different camera. Say hello, Eric. Hello. And uh, we get different bread. Yes. Although this is uh, this is the same bread from breakfast, the zebra bread. It's just an actual loaf instead of one slice. And then we have rosemary bread on this side, uh, which I guess is better than rosemary's baby, probably. Um, it's also honey butter. Mm, butter. Let's fill up on bread before we go to a buffet. I don't think we'll finish the buffet, shooting the buffet, if that happens. Let's take a trip to the buffet. What do we got here? Mini cornbread muffins. They're down in there. There they are. House made hummus, mango chutney, mini zebra loaf. So you can just get more bread up here. It's weird that they bring you bread and then there's just more up here rather than them just bring you more bread. Non bread honey rosemary rolls are up here too. There's a whipped butter. The honey butter is not up here though. We got turkey cubes. I don't know if that's really a cube. That's a turkey slice. Uh, ham cubes. Those are actually cubes. Cheese cubes. Cool slime. It's a coleslaw. I want to make sure you guys know I'm not crazy. That's what it says. And there's grapes. Grapes are there too. All right, we got salad greens, diced tomatoes, cucumber, sliced onion, shredded carrots, chickpeas, feta, croutons. Sambal vinaigrette, coconut curry vinaigrette, kachumbari. Uh, quinoa and chickpea salad, black-eyed pea salad, and roasted cauliflower salad. So some of these are different. Two out of the three are different uh, from breakfast. The kids, I mean, I assume this is supposed to be the kids station. It's low. Corn, green beans, chicken legs. Ketchup, mashed potato. Oh, I'm gonna destroy some corn dog nuggets, man. I like the, I like the Disney corn dog nuggets. And of course, what adult isn't going to the kids station for some mac and cheese, right? Jasmine rice, Dura Watt 
chicken curry. It's a little empty right now. So a little bit different from the breakfast one. There's also a green curry shrimp. That's exciting. Tusker Market mashed potatoes. Ooh, I like those. Zatar braised beef. Or za'atar braised beef. Oh, don't worry, adults. There's a mac and cheese up here, so you don't have to feel bad. Cauliflower bunny chow. Oh, wow. Okay. Feisty green beans. This is the plant-based section. Jollof rice with plant-based sausage and North African harira soup. Keep moving on here. We got red skin potatoes. We got charmula salmon, roasted root vegetables, tandoori spice rubbed rotisserie chicken, and a tandoori sauce. Ketchup and salsa over here. There's a rotisserie pork. And a beef and lamb shawarma. Oh boy. I didn't know there was shawarma. That's exciting. We got some toppings too. Sliced onion, tomato, cucumber, tzatziki. Oh, that's exciting. I'm way more excited about lunch and dinner than I was about breakfast, honestly. We got, we got your baby bee cupcake, baby flamingo cupcake, an African layered cookie bar. Oh, look at that. And a base chocolate mousse. And a brownie. There you go. Oh, there's cookies over here too. Look at this. But yeah, cookies, fruit, and a tree of life dessert over here. Okay, we're gonna try the bread, rosemary bread. It's different. I like it. I like just be tasting the butter. I mean, the honey butter is good too, but I like that it's um, it's not just standard dinner rolls, right? They did something different here. I appreciate that. How's your deeper bread? Let's see. It's a little dry. It's made of zebra, but it's good. Yeah, it's the same good. one from breakfast. Literally. But the rosemary, these rosemary rolls are to die for. These are, these are where it's at, kids. Since I know Eric won't try them, I'm gonna try the salads. So yeah, but Eric's mad at me now. Uh, we have a quinoa and chickpea salad, which is gonna be there. Uh, then we have the black eyed pea salad, which I took again, even though we had that. That's up there, it's one of the three breakfast salads. Uh, and then there is a roasted cauliflower salad. So these two are new for lunch and dinner. This one, a holdover from breakfast. So we don't need to really try that one again. I wasted food, I feel like an idiot now. But let's try, let's try some quinoa salad. The vinaigrette is strong. Oh, it almost is spicy. It's so vinegary that it's spicy. Wow. But I mean, quinoa isn't exactly the most flavorful thing ever, so it works pretty well. It's good. All right, what are we on to now? I'm sorry, I'm just enjoying it now. It's rare. I love them. No, 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 you're a, you're a vlogger. So it looks you, like we got... You're not supposed sorry. to enjoy things. You're just supposed to taste them. Um, so this is the cauliflower one. I see golden raisins in here, too. The golden raisins offset the cauliflower nicely, but it's... I mean, everything just tastes fresh and... Again, like this park, people always say this is the hottest park, but we live in Orlando, and it's hot the majority of the year, right? These are some nice, refreshing salads, um, and they're different from a lot of other restaurants on property. This is this is not the stuff you're finding everywhere else. So this is this one. Remember, we didn't like from breakfast, but these two are spectacular. I would absolutely, if I wasn't going to eat everything on this buffet, have more of both of them. It's worth pointing out, by the way, that it is noisy in here. Just oh. you're 
sense of noise, this is one of the loudest restaurants on property, but especially also, right now. If you're going to a character meal to have a quiet dinner, yeah, yeah. I'm afraid I have some bad news, right? Um, it is, but it is. And we're under, there's a low ceiling. People can't see. There's a real low ceiling right behind you. Which is part of the problem. But it's not high ceiling. Again, this wasn't built to be a table service nor a character meal. For those who don't know, a little backstory: when the park opened, uh, those were the service counters for the, it was a counter service restaurant. So they were ordering windows up there. Um, this only became, I think, like 07. This became uh, a buffet restaurant. So the, the character meal in this park used to be a breakfast buffet, and it was in Restaurant Asaurus, which was a counter service after breakfast, or you stay with me here. Um, and it was Donald's uh, breakfast thesaurus. Um, and then they decided, no, we want to do all day character buffet, and they moved in. They moved it over here. So a little quick history of the Tusker House for it. But it was a great counter service back in the day. It's still a really good buffet. Though. All right. Now we got to try the kids' food. So we've got... Oh, sorry, Mickey was there. What do we got? Show them, show them the food, Eric. We got chicken leg, mashed potatoes, corn dog nuggets, which are pretty much the same as Casey's, so they're great. Green beans, corn, and this mac and cheese, which I've had before. I like this mac. I know I like this mac and cheese. This was on the family style, also. Really rich, very creamy. Yeah. So thick. You probably can't eat. If you're gonna do more buffet, you probably can't get a lot of these. It'd be easy to fill up on them. So good. So good. But it's important to have vegetables, kids. Take it from me, someone who's definitely eaten healthy their whole life. It's corn. That's the review. <laughs> Some stuff can, you know, it's hit or miss. Things can be cold depending when you get them. Corn and the green beans are a little on the cold side. So they're fine. And these are your ubiquitous Disney corn dog nuggets. They're as delicious as ever. African, uh, traditional African fare here at Tusker House. Corn dog nuggets. Guilty pleasure food. They like the chicken breast nuggets. I love yeah. them. Let's try some chicken thighs. It's nice and tender. Very juicy, not at all dry. Nicely seasoned with a little bit of pepper, some salt. It's a good, it's good chicken. All right, and I assume the mashed potatoes are also going to be enjoyable. They're really good. Potatoes are ice cold. <laughs> it's a good kid station though, against the picky eaters. It's gonna do the trick. Okay, so next up is the curry station. I eat a lot of curry every week at home. It's kind of I don't cook it, mind you. I order it from places because I don't know how to cook. Thanks to living at Disney World most of my life. Um, uh, obviously also love Sanaa. And so I love anything like this. So they have a curry station, which is a rarity, obviously, for a Disney buffet. So there's rice, uh, there's a chicken curry, and a shrimp curry. And let's uh, give them a try. I almost wish they'd just give me plastic cutlery at a buffet and just take a fresh one all the time. I hate having to continually reuse or clean the fork. Yeah. Did you like it? No. It's real fishy, right? Yeah. Kind of weird fishy taste. I'm not crazy about it. The aftertaste is really off-putting. Very, very fishy. Let's try the chicken. The chicken I think you'll like better. Okay. I guess we'll find I out. I hope so. Wow, it's got this, uh, 
I thought it was just like straight up spice at first, but it's got this sort of roasted flavor on the back end. Real smoky, right? Yeah. That's interesting. Pretty spicy. But it's a smoky, which is not what I expected. The chicken itself is great, very tender. The sauce is, again, I know spice isn't everyone's thing. I don't think it's over. You don't, do you like spice here for Yeah, I do. Oh, so, okay. I don't know, if you're averse to spice, it might be too much for you. I can hear my father like complaining in my head if I brought him here and be like, oh! It does a good job of burning that fishy taste away. <laughs> it's pretty solid though. I would, I would make a nice big plate of this rice and this chicken. I like it a lot. Yeah. All right, we're on to the next station. There's some weird and interesting stuff here. Uh, I forgot the names of everything again, but let's start with the one I remember, which is the uh, Harira soup, which definitely looks like chickpeas and lentil and vegetables. See a big chunk of carrot in there. Thank you very much. Sorry. Thank you. It's exactly what you think it would taste like. It's kind of bland. Yeah. Boring. Yeah. Well, the, the broth is it's well seasoned, right? It's salty. I mean, but it's it's grainy, right? It's it's dry and grainy, and you know, it's exactly what you think it. Would. Okay. So there's a a lot of this is the a lot of this is plant based. It's obviously not the beef. Um, there's the jollof rice, which has. Uh, plant-based sausage in it. See a little bit of that there. There's something funky going on there. Yeah, it's plant-based sausage. No, that's not always the problem. I think it's seasoning in the rice or something weird. I gotta be more specific. That's not a good review. It's something weird. Something weird. Don't taste good. A little bit of it might be the sausage. The sausage is it's got this weird artificial sausage flavor that's just. Otherwise, the rice. The rice is almost tasteless. I think it's all coming from the sausage. It's just all. It just all tastes like mush. A plate of mush. So the beef is interesting because there's essentially a layer. Hi, Mickey. Hi, Mickey. <laughs> yeah, everything's good. Yeah, everything's great. Thank you. Um, so there's just like bread that's cooked underneath, right? That's soaking up all those juices, which is interesting. Not something you see often at a Disney World buffet. A little bread and a little beef. The bread is soaked up all that smoke. It's real smoky. It's pretty nice. The beef is tender. It's not very fatty. I'm not a big like pot roast guy. It's not my kind of thing. Yeah. Um, but I know people love it. You'll, I think people will really enjoy it. There's bunny chow here. Ah, uh, bunny chow. Our bunny chow. Everything's got chickpeas. Everything in the restaurant, it seems. Onions, potatoes, obviously cauliflower, chickpeas. The seasoning's nice. Salt and pepper. I'm sure there's other stuff going on there. Yeah. I don't know what else to say. I mean, it tastes like cauliflower, onions, potato, and chickpeas. If you know what those things taste like. bunnies eat that a lot? I, I somehow don't think bunnies are often making uh, plates like that. I somehow doubt it. You never know. Not to, we don't live in Africa, we don't know. So we have feisty green beans. Feisty? I don't know what so it says feisty. Hmm. Feisty green beans. So there's, I see onions. Uh, they're, they're, they're here to cause trouble? 
I've been called feisty from time to time. I guess that just means sautéed with onions. Feisty. You're good. But it, that's all. That's all that's going on there. A lot of oil. Very oily. Um, but it's, it's onions and green beans. Okay. Now this, they don't tell you what this is. It's just like Tusker House mashed potatoes or something of the sort. And I see there's like, there's like those crispy straws in there. I don't know if they're, I think they're onion straws probably. I don't know what else is going on in these. Well, these are way more buttery. I gotta go look at these again. I think these are plant-based. And I think the other the other mashed potatoes use something maybe doesn't qualify. Because um, really it's just those on the surface level it just looks like those mashed potatoes with onion straws in them. Which wouldn't make a big difference, but something inside's definitely different. These are way more buttery. Way better prepared than the other mashed potatoes. Some good stuff. Great, we're now in hour two of our meal. <laughs> um, so on to the next station. This will be the last of the non-dessert food. Uh, like I was saying before, they have a shawarma station. So there's beef, uh, beef and lamb shawarma, uh, some non bread there. There are a bunch of toppings. I'm very full, so I, would, I didn't make like the full thing. There's tzatziki. I took a little tzatziki. There's cucumber. There's all sorts onion. All sorts of stuff you can make a little, a little sandwich if you want. Uh, there is pork with that mustard sauce that Eric loves so much. Uh, there is a tandoori chicken with a tandoori sauce I've put on it. Uh, there are root vegetables, a salmon, uh, and uh, roasted red potatoes. So let's, let's dive in before I have to give up on this meal. Why do I keep doing this to myself? Two buffets in a day. Hopefully this is the last reopening of a buffet. Tandoori sauce a little sweeter than I would like. The chicken itself is good. Um, I, it's probably I would go get the chicken from the kids station. Honestly, that was a little better. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's the seasoning on the chicken and not the sauce. I don't know what I'm not liking about it. The sauce, but I thought the chicken was more flavorful. I know it's probably less seasoned the other one. But I really like the thighs from the kids station. All right, the root vegetables. Those are very hard. I don't think root vegetables are exactly one of the most popular dishes on a Disney World buffet. Those have been sitting there a while. Wait till you have the naan. I don't think they're cooked. I never liked their naan, I know. And at the same resort that has Sanaa, we have bad, bad naan. There's the salmon, that's a nice thick piece of salmon. There's nothing wrong with it, it's a little chalky in texture. I've had I mean, better buffet salmon. It's buffet there's some, salmon, though. There's no. some good buffet salmon on property. That's unfair. There's a couple places I've had it where I definitely liked it and had several pieces. Hi, Donald. Oh, Donald. You're still here. <laughs> Shaking his tail feathers for us. All right. Hey, nice. You got good moves, Donald. Yeah. He's, he's eating everything, yeah. Gotta he try everything. Him. Shakira taught me that. <laughs> Thank you, Don. You look great. Oh, you look fantastic. There it is. It's good. 
Okay. Red. 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 Those are great. Perfect seasoning. Yeah. They're tender. Very good. Thick. They're, they're great. Those are great. All right. Now, the other thing I eat all the time, I said a couple days a week I eat curry. The rest of the week I eat shawarma, essentially. So let's see how this stacks up to what I eat. And again, I live in Orlando, right? Not exactly a food mecca in this country, so... Oh, Goofy's back. Oh, you look good. Oh, he's tall enough to lean on the ceiling. Doing his exercises. Hi, hi, hi. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Thank you so much. Don't let the executives find out they're giving out free massages at Disney World. This will be the end. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and we'll pay on the way out. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Thanksgiving. Well, that's pretty solid. Yes, I bet. Yeah. Honestly, Little Greek, I know it's a chain, local chain. Is still a little better, but this is this is very good. I would eat this here. Um, no, I don't know what else to say about it. I mean, it's it's beef and lamb. Mm -hmm. it tastes like beef and lamb. That peppery flavor you'd expect. Um, no, I took, again, I what has won me over with this buffet is the variety is interesting. I think there's a lot of interesting stuff, and it's pretty diverse, right? You could make shawarma with naan. You could make um, a curry plate, or if you have a picky eater, right, you can make a pretty normal plate of very good versions of standards, right? That mac and cheese is very good. Those red potatoes are good. The, curry, I like the chicken curry. Is chicken, yeah. Um, but even that, the, the chicken thighs were good. Yeah. Um, and that beef, the beef with the bread. Yeah. It was great. So there's, there's a lot of good stuff here, but you know, we really we have to judge a restaurant, especially a buffet, by its dessert station. So let's. Let's begin the process. Hi, Daisy. How are you? I'm great, thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Daisy. Very good. <laughs> hey, Mick. Okay, I'm gonna pull this extra. We got an extra place setting over here, which is good because we have all the desserts. Uh, there's a brownie with the Fab Five on it. There's a what I call the Flavor Lab special. There's a mousse. A mousse dessert. This thing wasn't labeled up there, so we're gonna find out what that is. There's the flamingo and the bee cupcake, which have been served in this park in full size before, um, but I've never had the mini one. Uh, there's also this tree of life s'mores thing, so it's a big marshmallow with chocolate. Uh, there's a magic cookie bar, and then cookies. There's the, the 50th cookie, which this was the second most effort that was put into the 50th after the theme song, I think, was this cookie. And then there's a, a double chocolate zebra cookie. I'm trying this first. I can't wait on the zebra cookie. I'm sure somewhere there's an orthodontist screaming at YouTube about me eating all this with braces. It's pretty good. I mean, double chocolate cookie. The Disney World buffet cookies just always taste like kind of like Costco. Yeah. They're in that vein. They're, they're, they're I like it though. I like that one. Have you had the sugar? This one you can get everywhere on property just about. I always like the sugar cookies though. The ones they give out at the Christmas party. 
They're good. Yeah. Christmas party. It is November 1st, so get Christmas, ready for that Christmas, Christmas party. Christmas in Orlando has begun, folks. Yeah. I mean, there's decorations up here already. So the post for the tree coming in. All right, let's try the Flavor Lab special, the mousse. Plant-based. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's a plant-based mousse. By the way, those mashed potatoes we had and really liked were not the plant-based ones. Those are just a different version. So I think maybe those are, the other ones are plain and the ones we had second were just buttery and had those onion straws in them. Thanks, Mickey. Thanks, Mickey. That cameo will be big. We get lots of clicks from it. 
big celebrity stops at Tusker House Review. We've met a lot of celebrities. That be, I mean, we're talking about celebrities whose pictures are on the brownie. Never had my picture on the brownie. Okay, cookie bar. This is just a big piece of sugar. The flour, the sunflower. Let's be honest, folks. You know what I don't need on a magic cookie bar? Sugar. Like, I don't need icing sugar on sunflower. it. It's, a, it's already a cookie bar. Don't ruin it with this extra junk. Fill someone with a nut hour. Is it nutty? I didn't have a lot of nuts. I'm trying to remember what buffet was at recently where they had a cookie bar and I thought it was... Was that Hollywood and Vine? I wasn't there for that one. I think it was Hollywood and Vine and I thought it was the best one I've ever had on property. Don't quote me on that. I'll have to go back and check. But. You got one thing left. This one's very different. Real nutty. Not. I mean, I like... I like nut desserts. You have one thing left. The I'm going to get a close-up. Oh, it's spin. a s'mores pop. It looks like something you could cut with a fork. You cannot. That is a marshmallow, and then that's the stick I think you're supposed to hold it either. I don't know. I that's don't... chocolate. Yeah, the, but the but there you, you can hold it by the chocolate to eat. It was very hard to cut because it's like a very resilient marshmallow. This is uh, from the film Flubber. And tomorrow, I better make an orthodontist appointment tomorrow because I'm going to need my braces repaired. It's the worst thing I've had all day. What do you think? <laughs> it's like chemicals. on your face. Like chemicals. Yeah, it's terrible. Consistency is bad. It's too chewy. It tastes like chemicals. I think this is what turned the Incredible Hulk into the Incredible Hulk, I think. This green, this green gamma cube. No, 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 it was not good. Um, oh, thoughts, Eric, you've never been here before. Well, I want to hear your thoughts. I, I thought it was great. There were a lot of good options across the spectrum. So if you're an adventurous eater, there's plenty of there are plenty of choices. Yeah. If you're pretty basic or you have kids, small kids with you, there's plenty of options there. And there's a lot of stuff in between. I feel like you should be able to, to come up with a good meal out of the options here. And most of the stuff like was well thought, well conceived, and yeah. well executed. There were a couple couple misses, but for the most part, for a buffet, I think uh, it was great. I'll tell you what, you will meet a lot of characters over and over and over. Well, if you, we also were here for over. Most people yeah. will be here for over two hours. Yeah. But um, they they are. It's very clear that they're not up to full staffing yet, right? Because um, they are just not seating most of the restaurant. You can see over there, it's a lot of empty the sections. Whole, they are absolutely not seating the back section. Yeah. Oh. Back room. A lot of our section is empty. I mean, and we're getting towards peak dinner time. It's 5.23 now. Um, so I assume as the holiday season nears, it's going to ramp up. Um, but for now, they're not seating the whole restaurant, which is why we saw the characters. I mean, you would have seen them a lot in two and a half hours anyway, but we saw them probably double what we would have otherwise. Yeah, no, I think it was good. I would come back. So earlier, when we did breakfast, I didn't give it the most glowing review. I feel the opposite way about lunch and dinner. I think if you're going to bother coming here, don't do breakfast. Animal Kingdom's kind don't of do a breakfast. half day. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's kind of a half day park. Schedule this at a time in which you feel like you're going to be done with everything you want to do in this park, and this should be how you cap off your day at Animal Kingdom. I, I do. You can get a lot done very early in the morning in this park, and so I'd focus on that. I think that this, lunch and dinner, this was a great meal. As opposed to breakfast where it was forgettable and it felt overpriced for what it was. This is a lot of good quality food. It is expensive being a character meal, but nonetheless, I mean, there was a huge variety of desserts. There was a huge variety of food, and we liked, again, I would have made, if I wasn't doing the review, I would have made, like, full plates of the curry stuff and the shawarma and been so happy with that. And then there were other things, right? Again, the potatoes, the chicken thigh, the the salads, I love the salads. Um, and there's a lot of basic stuff we didn't show, right? There was a lot more at that salad station and stuff. Yeah. Um, so, two thumbs up on Tusk Grouse, unless you did or not. Don't do not do breakfast. That's all I, that's all I can say. And there you have it.
All right. We'll see you next time. Oh, also, don't hold on. Oh. Don't forget, you get an autograph card. They will sign an autograph book, by the way. I've seen them sign. These are probably worth a lot of money. No. You sell them on eBay if you have that really Mickey Mouse card. If it's authenticated as Mickey Mouse's actual autograph. Yeah. So they started doing these a couple years ago to speed up the process. They didn't want it. some restaurants. They weren't actually signing autograph books. Now they are again, but you still get these. I love these. I think they're a neat souvenir. Um, and all the characters were fantastic. Everyone we met today was. Um, I mean, really good characters. It's an exciting day. The buffet is back, but everyone was. Um, some of the best character interactions we've ever had. So come check out the Tusker House restaurant in Africa at Disney's and at Harambe, Disney's Animal Kingdom.